Hi Film for Idiots here. It's another beautiful day here in Nashville and uh, this video is about um, upgrading your firmware to 4.1 while preserving your baseband at uh, 01.59.00. Uh, why do you want to do this? Um, 4.1 um, has Game Center and it's got the proximity uh, sensor fix so you probably want to go ahead and um, get those things immediately and now that uh, Green Poison's coming out um, you can jailbreak it um, but if you don't preserve your baseband there you will not be able to unlock it so you have to do this. Um, it's not very hard. Um, um, there's just, uh, as you'll see, you need to uh, download two files, Tiny Umbrella and the stock um, 4.1 firmware, and um, there's links to those downloads either over here or over there. Just uh, go look at the article and um, go ahead and get started, but I guess I'll show you. Um, you can see my version right there is 4.1, and you um, can see the firmware down there is at the, the 015900, which is what we need to preserve. So uh, let's go to the computer and check it out. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do after you uh, open up Tiny Umbrella is go ahead and connect your uh, iPhone and um, be sure uh, iTunes will open, so close iTunes. You want iTunes closed and you want your iPhone hooked up. And then right up here where it says save my SSH, SHSH, um, you just want to select uh, whatever your firmware version is. Uh, mine is, you saw, it was uh, 4.0.1, so you would just click save my SSH. SHSH done, then um, you're going to want to uh, click on advanced and um, go in here and find your version for your iPhone 4. Um, you also have to save the one for 4.1. That messed me up for a little bit. Um, so be sure you select that one, click save my SHSH again. And the easiest way to check is over here where it says display. Click display. You can see I have saved for um, both uh, 4.1 and 4.0.1. So I am good to go. So the next step is um, basically um, you need to click start your TSS server. So you can see where it's green and says running. Now once it's running, now you can go ahead and uh, open up iTunes. But be sure you do all this with iTunes closed. Okay, now go ahead and connect it. When it starts to sync, you can just do a slide to unlock. Um, <clears throat> Should be pretty simple here. Click later. Again, slide to unlock. Stop your sync. Um, can also close iPhoto if you want. Doesn't really matter. Then just go over here in the side and select under devices your iPhone, like you've probably done before. And then um, the last thing you need to do is just click Option Restore. Um, or on a PC, I think it's maybe Alt Restore. Um, but you'll get the pop-up box and just select the um, 4.1 firmware that you downloaded. Again, there's a link for the download in the article and click open and restore and we'll see what happens here. Um, this might take a few minutes, um, so I'll probably uh, stop the video here in a minute and um, see how long it takes. You can see uh, it's 3.08 on Friday and uh, Green Poison. Okay, there you can see success. That is the error we wanted, 1004. Um, so click OK. And at this point, I think you just need to look at Tiny Umbrella. Um, and you click right here where it says Kick Device Out of Recovery. So do that. And then I think we are good to disconnect. You can see after you click uh, that, you just have the Apple. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it now, and we'll see what happens here once the um, once we reboot. Okay, so after you click Kick Device Out of Recovery and just pull it off um, and do that hard reboot, you can see it's 319, and let's check out where we're at. Um, you can see, oh, sorry. You can see my version is now 4.1 and my baseband is still in the unlockable. So now I'm ready for uh, the green poison to jailbreak 4.1 and uh, be good to go. 